Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. This week, another developer has bailed on Linux support, and we're going to wish them all the best like we normally do. In System76, it's got a Woody for your wallet. Artifact gets a release date. What's the over-under on Valve sticking to it? And RTX off, RMA on. What fresh hell awaits NVIDIA early adopters this time? Valve paints Steam green a nice shade of red, and everyone seems to think it's fine this time. And Shroud of the Avatar is free to play, if you don't value your time, that is. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. I'm Vin Stone, that's Jordan Sphing, and that is, uh, you know him, you love him, one Pedro Mateus. Hello. Together with you at home, that's right, chilling out there, watching us live, helping us form. Cocaine Voltron, pick that up, YouTube, eat a bag of dicks. Um, <laughs> before we get started, we do like to see what's going on in each other's life organs. Uh, I, I was just describing earlier, I almost got an automobile accident because I found out that their ultimate torture is not not having access to fiber, but having no access to fiber when you're genuinely surrounded by it because they're getting it all set up. And I, I was following, like looking into the sky and I'm like, oh, look, th th there's a connector there and there's a tension. Whoa, slammed on the brakes. Mm -hmm. like, ah, all right. We're not doing that anymore. I learned a lesson. Also, I beat the goddamn Batman. What's up, Jay, baby? Oh, well, I, I got a roast cooking in the other room and the smell of caramelized onions is starting to waft through the apartment and it's just making me so fucking hungry right now. I just want to eat something. Um, I got a pack of bite-sized Snickers here, too. When will they make an appearance on the episode? Stay tuned. Apparently, if I want to get paid more, I need to do another one of them um, learning courses. So I'm going to be in London next week. So uh, don't uh, count on me for the Wednesday show. Uh, but uh, maybe there will be a Jordan there. Who knows? Oh, no. I don't oh, know. Now no. I'm thinking about, like, damn it, we, we need to start getting paid. Then we can send each other to classes. Like, oh, you, you need to take a, re a, a refresher course on high, a water therapy. What's that? Yeah, no, know. no. Empty's em, em, going to be hosting a course on, like, GIMP, and we all have to go there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Foxy on uh, Godot. <laughs> or Blender. I think Foxy's more of a Blender guy. <sighs> okay, let let's put the horse in the blender like we do every week. All right, we're 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 going to pulse, and then we're gonna go to setting three because it's the Steam Linux update. Oh, oh, look at that beautiful puree! <laughs> it's just horse goop. Artifact. We get an actual release date. It's coming to Steam on 11 2018 which is incidentally a month after my birthday. Thank you, Richard Garfield, for I don't know kicking the balls. Um. <laughs> Yeah, there, there, there's apparently a preview tournament uh, happening at some point. Here's the, here's the thing though, like Valve, Valve has said like in in the past, oh, Game X is gonna coming be coming on day Y, and then it never happened. It got pushed back. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put like a nickel on the line. I'm looking around to see if, okay, I, I, I have, I have a, a twenty euro cent coin. I bet this. If they, uh, <laughs> if, if they, if they, if they bump the, uh, if they bump the release date. There you go. I'll even autograph it for you. <laughs> I mean, it is Valve. It is to be expected that you would uh, see the delay. But they already said that they would be delaying the early the, access type of situation beta the, the that beta. they're doing. Yeah, the beta. Yeah, we, we talked about that last week. I don't know. Man. Yeah, uh, we were talking the pre pre super shows, and uh, and I asked Pedro, and like, holy hell, did I get some content out of that? It's like, do you give a singular fuck about this game to which you retort? Yeah, it was co-developed by Richard Garfield, creator of Magic the Gathering, and I played a lot of Magic the Gathering, so yeah, I'll at least give it a try. Yeah, see what's so, up so, so, so did I, and there's like, there's the definite potential for just being like another cardboard crack thing where, yeah. uh, again, like like I was saying in the pre, -pre super shows, and if the metagame is like actually accessible, then I may end up losing hours of my life to it, mm -hmm. and, and thousands of dollars of my money. Who knows? And it remains to be seen what the monetization will be like, because if it is like ask, Magic is the Gathering, be, uh, free to pay, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. You, you 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 start you start with like a bunch of booster packs, and then you have to buy additional ones, and you can't uh, win them with like in-game currencies. And you were saying something about um, 
You had to spend like seven hundred what stinky cash a year to be competitive in like one of the card games. Yeah, and and in in Magic the Gathering, um, if, if you're playing if you're playing uh, standard, which is kind of the major tournament format, yeah, you're easily dropping about seven hundred dollars on a deck every two years if you want to remain like competitive at the top tier, or yeah. e- even even just people who have disposable income who just print out the de- deck lists and buy the cards, right? So. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, hopefully they've, they've they've been saying like they want they want artifact to sort of curtail this behavior, but that's also kind of how CCGs make their money. So yeah, mm. okay, it, it remains to be seen. Proton, okay, Proton. So there's a new three sixteen dash four Proton beta available right now if you're on the uh, Steam beta client, and uh, it uh, like the big things here uh, are that they now include core fonts with the um, with the Proton install so any like game that has a launcher that requires like the Windows uh, base core fonts those will just work out of the box now uh, they the really funny thing that they introduced with this version of Proton is that all cards, all uh, video cards, are now seen by any Proton game as an AMD card. So if you have a GTX 1080, the game will say, oh, you have a, an RX whatever. And this is so that the, the games don't actively try to load the NVAPI DLL yeah, there, there's there's a yeah. lot of like special game specific sta- uh, sauce in uh, NBA API and the game work stuff that doesn't perform all too well with DXVK. Um, probably probably because there's like some hardware level optimization for there, right? So it's probably simpler yeah. in the wrong in the long run because then you don't have to reverse engineer all of like Nvidia's proprietary crap every time they release a new card or a new driver or revision. Huh? Um, but I mean, I mean, yeah, it it makes sense as well, just because like, okay, it's we're 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 we're, we're Re- en- we're re-engineering a graphics API with no, another we're just language. Re- <laughs> yeah, we're just, we're just reing constantly, yeah. nonstop about NVIDIA bullshit. It's kind of an interesting take, though. I mean, it's like, hey, you get an AMD card, you get an AMD card, but it kind of makes sense on mm-hmm. why they went yeah, about doing that. Yeah, it, it, it absolutely did. And as you pointed uh, out, I think... Uh, Sorry. Core fonts, but one of the things they addressed in this was, hey, remember last week when you kind of got banned off a uh, multiplayer if you were trying to get your Soul Calibur on? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they fixed that. That's no longer going to be an issue. So I was like, oh, so, good on you. Yeah, as yeah, it turns that, that, out, it was a Proton issue. Uh, and, I, I, well, it was a Proton issue specifically surrounding Steam Works, not necessarily yeah. the uh, <laughs> not not the not the Windows emu- or the Windows compatibility layer, but like Valve's own. Hey, now this stuff hooks into our yeah. APIs. And that one was on Valve completely, and uh, yeah. the the thing that got me was like. AMD being the thing that works properly is pretty funny to someone who basically grew to loathe ATI slash AMD GPUs on Linux for a long time. Here's, so here's the thing, that's though. funny to me. <laughs> but, but that's the thing. Like, five years is a long time. Mm-hmm. Also, yeah, Vulcan. Yeah. Also, AMD's not really making those drivers anymore. So, <laughs> right. Yeah. AMD is slowly but surely turning into a very, very promising and viable alternative to NVIDIA under Linux. I look forward to spin the wheel of whatever I'm shilling this week. So, uh, take a shot. Proton. Better URLs. Wait, nope. You can export the data. This is uh, Proton DB. It's no longer what the mm-hmm. hell was it before? Uh, like so uh, org. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they got a thing, man. And uh, on top of that, you not only can you remember the damn web zone, you know, mm-hmm. just protondb.com. Pedro, it's easier to find games, right? Yes, it is. Because with the uh, the new URL, if you just type protondb like you would appdb for the Wine uh, application database, mm-hmm. if you just type protondb and the name of a game... All of a sudden, you get the all the reports. That's like the first hit on Google. It's like, oh, that's much easier. Neat, <laughs> for, for sure. Uh, they, they have a, they have a blog post sort of describing the the progress of the project. And the the thing at the beginning is like, what kind of stupid jerks run their project out of a Google Doc? What kind of stupid idiots would ever do that? Um, I mean, anyway, a little bit too large. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, uh, one, one thing I did find interesting is apparently this entire rigmarole is being run entirely out of the free tier of several services. Mm-hmm. So 
there may be some breakage down the line, but it's it's cool to see that like for for a project as that's gonna that has the potential to be as widely used as Proton DB. I want I'm curious how that will like actually scale. One of the things yeah. that I was really happy to see because like up until earlier this week, a lot of people not gonna name where, not gonna name who they are, were fucking all right. No way to get around it. Just screeching they're like i w- cannot use this and i'm not going to submit my stuff to it and that's really how their tippity types came across on the reddits oh shit now you got an idea where it's, it came from uh, because there was no way to export their data from this this was this was the argument 100 percent, and and it was using google analytics it's like oh i just can't trust this can't use this and i need to be able to export my data and you're tracking me I, I, we're talking. I mean, we're talking about something that is used for fucking steam. The DRM yeah. riddled, <laughs> encumbered. Track your ass because fuck you. You can't do anything about. But this, this sets you off. But worry no more, ladies and gentlemen. You can now export your data under ODBL. It's thing. It's brilliant. Mm-hmm. Get it done. Nothing to screech about. And they also threw in uh, stats, man, graphs and shit. So, yep. Good on them. Uh, promising project i do i do like though like later on in that thread someone's like it's you know what if you really want to embrace the spirit of open source make your own proton db oh, and then open source it you know i i kind of had to tap out of that thread because i saw people like mm, what i gotta come up with something new to complain about it's like <laughs> really <laughs> really it's like they're tracking me use privacy badger i don't man the, you, uh, well analytics, you know what if, if 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 you're playing the proton <laughs> drinking game prepare to kiss your liver goodbye uh tomshardware.com has uh, an article on uh the protons um mm-hmm. they're talking about how uh you know the compatibility list is expanding um some basic fluff pieces for you know if if you haven't been watching the show this article is like probably chock full of information that's useful but we've talked about this at length mm-hmm. one um the, link, the links to this is in our show notes and one of the things that kind of struck me as odd and i haven't really considered that is for older games like running them in windows 10 is apparently very challenging difficult not simple it just doesn't so, work period yeah so 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 I'm, I'm curious if like can someone comment on that versus like getting stuff running in proton uh because i know they're, they're... one of the things I, I thought was really important is like we are on proton ad nauseum in europe you sir or madam are right listen we've been saying a lot about it this is big for one simple reason i'm not gonna say this is big but this is relevant because it's in tom's hardware.com you know, yeah, it's been in Forbes, fair, it, and now we're over at Tom's Hardware. Up next, it'll be on uh, Yahoo. Yeah, probably <laughs> Yahoo. Do Yahoo they, News. Yahoo's still a thing, <laughs> I think. Maybe. I think they, all they, the they, other uh, major tech sites have already covered like Proton in <laughs> one way or another. I know Ars Technica did, and Adam Tech did. So yeah, now we're uh, we're on. Uh, well, not we, but Valve is on. Uh, Tom's hardware, and one of the things, I, uh, yeah, they they do mention the um, the Proton DB, and one of the things that they mention is like, oh, there's 2,600 games that are now fully playable on Linux. Yeah, only 2,600 out of the like 30,000 that are currently available on Windows. So we need more people reporting on how those smaller Windows only games work on Linux. Listen, man, maybe no. the message to take away from this: too many games on Linux use BSD for work. Well, and, Plan and nine. Uh, <laughs> one, 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 one thing to sort of uh, piggyback on Pedro's point is, um, yeah, um, the, the other thing we need is like good Steam controller configs for, uh, for a lot of these games, because a lot yes. of them don't, will not necessarily work with like, say, the DualShock out of the box or whatever, or whatever mm-hmm. like particular controller you have uh, plugged into your system. So being able to use the uh, Steam input stuff to sort of override that would be super helpful. Hmm. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for our main Steam news. Let's get into one game update. Actually, we got a couple of them, but this one I had to throw in. Human Fall oh. Flat, we played it. We kind of like, I mean, all right, as a game, it's, if you got a bunch of people, if you got like eight people, it's a straight up dick around simulator. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, that's all it is, and it's got a pretty hefty price. Anyway, uh, this comes from Hawk Doodoo. And hopefully, if that is their real name, <laughs> do, do. Uh, Ock, do, do. they ask, why was Linux support dropped to the developer 
writes back, well, unfortunately, we made the decision to discontinue Linux support so we can focus on new content. They're actually making workshops and shit to make this game interesting. Features for Windows and and an extra fuck you Mac. Apologies for this, but thank you for understand. Motherfucker, I didn't ask for understanding. I asked for a goddamn product that I paid for that you just yanked fucking support from. Motherfucker. Yeah. But what's even what's even more egregious here is it's a Unity game. There's uh-huh. not much involved with supporting this. No, this is the egregious thing that they're keeping the Mac. But it's like, oh, that uh huh, that if you, you're going to keep the Mac and drop the Linux, eat a bag yeah. of dicks. <laughs> and uh, the developers, after like seven pages of people saying, yeah, I would refund the game now if I wasn't past the two hour window. Mm-hmm. Uh, another developer came back, oh, or the same developer came back and said, uh, thank you for your feedback on this issue. We understand. We appreciate the frustration of the community, uh, but we'll always be on hand to help if you have any questions, issues regarding the Linux version of Human Fall Flat. Didn't you just say you were dropping support for it? So what's with the wishy-washy bullshit? So, so yeah, th- 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 this is this is the have your cake and eat it too. Oh, we'll help, we'll help you out, but you don't get official support. So if it takes us too long, or if it requires you know actual actual like modification of the code, yeah, fuck it. Mm. Dicks, dick move. That's yeah. what it is. Hang on, there's one thing I, I want to kind of bring up, and you're like, oh well, you know, they were doing everyone a favor by supporting Linux in the first place. This is still on their fucking website. I, I exhibit a motherfuckers. I supported the prototype because this was a prototype. How do I get my Steam key? Clement here. I have Mac or Linux. Can I play? And to quote, Mac and Linux versions are available and are first class citizens. Exclamation! But they love their exclamation points, don't they, folks? Um, Hypocrisy. <laughs> L- listen, it, it just goes to show you that your rights can be taken away at any point. Thanks for all the bucks, and uh, yeah, no one ever buy their games. Now, I was all right. First off, uh, kind of, kind of a little bit of an aside to this. We did see the new Steam review system uh, work, though, because this thing. Got oh yeah, on that bombed. day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is just all downs and it didn't affect their uh, positive negative reviews. And uh, that was kind of interesting to watch to take that play, you know, just to see how that played out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, but yeah, Pedro, I agree with you. Dick, move. Absolutely. Mm. Up next. Oh, yeah. Um, Jesus. <laughs> did, did you forget you were doing a show again? <laughs> no, I closed. I accidentally, I accidentally closed the tab, and I thought we were on uh, Shroud of the Avatar. No, um, so Year of the Dragon. This is this is a this is a Half Life mod for like OG Gold Source Half Life One. You know, you know, fine. They, they, those crazy bastards have done it. They've now I can experience true gaming bliss. That is Half Life crossed over with Spyro the the Dragon from the PlayStation. Wait, what? Second yeah, Saturn, so, but close enough. <laughs> no, uh, Spyro Spyro was on the PlayStation. Was it also on the PlayStation? <laughs> yes. That's okay. where I played it. Um but anyways, um yeah, so if 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 you if you if you watch the the gameplay footage here, like it's straight up they they add spiral mechanics to Half-Life and then you just like breathe fire on uh on like headcrabs and shit. I'm curious like I, I mean this this might this might be worth a stream if only to see like how far can you actually get and where does this where does this fall apart? Because like yeah, you you can Spyro the Dragon can fucking fly. They can, he can also use like the health packs too, which I find particularly strange. <laughs> um, yeah, th- this is this is just a very bizarre thing, and I it's, I kind of like it. Also, all that fiberglass should be up in flames right now. So, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, no, it's it's definitely a thing. You can find it on Mod DB. The links to all this is in our show notes. Um, yeah, I don't. I, there's not really much I can say about it. It's like fucking Half Life Spyro the Dragon. <laughs> the, I I don't have a follow up to that. Oh shit, Mir, Mir's calling you out, Pedro. No, no, yeah, Spyro there was on the Saturn. A Spyro game for the Saturn, but apparently it wasn't the first one. So, Mir, eat uh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, beautiful people, it is out. Uh, I didn't get a chance to try it. I really want to. I think it might be fun for a stream. But yeah, head over yeah. to ModDB, throw that in, and see if you can get some traction out of it. I think that'll be curious. Yeah. I, I, I want to yeah. fuck with it. It's like I, I'm right there on that like uh, needling point, uh, tipping point of like, 
do I care enough? I'm like, kind of. <laughs> like, 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 like I said, I just want to see, like, at what point does the game break down where, like, the spiral mechanics and the Half-Life mechanics just straight up become incompatible with one another? But you know what? I, you know what? This is all craziness because we're not going to have the time because we're getting sucked into the new hotness. The MMOs, man. Have you heard about those, Pedro? Oh, I have heard take about over them. Our lives. Yeah, Richard Garriott, he, you know, of Ultima fame, decided, you know what, let's bring Ultima to the 21st century. And he, well, he failed miserably if the mostly negative, most recent reviews on Steam are anything to go by. So this is Shroud of the Avatar Forsaken Virtues, uh, and it's free to play now. That's the big news here. It's now free to play. No longer in early access. It dropped out of early access a couple of months ago. And uh, now it's also free because they realized, yeah, no, the game is shit. And we can't sell it no more. So might as well make it free. it's got dragons, Pedro. Why do you hate dragons? It's got dragons. It got, it's got phoenixes. It's got, uh, like, mahusive wraiths that you can get a party the, the- together and kill. Does it have head crabs and Gordon Freeman? That's the real question no, here. No, no, no. It has a crabby type of enemy, but they don't attach to your head. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like I, I was, I was actually kind of excited about this when this got, originally got announced because I like the, mm-hmm. I like the OG Ultima games. Um, yeah. they're, they're solid, solid fantasy RPGs, and this was. At the very beginning, this was like super ambitious. Like, oh, this is going to be like a seamless MMO single player experience where you can basically play the game however you want. And it's open world and procedurally generated and blah, blah, blah. And I know, yeah, uh, Pedro and Sandy were both playing a lot of it back when it was in early access. As yeah. I, was ta- I remember asking Sandy, it's like, yeah, there's really nothing to do. Like, you can progress the tech trees and uh, but yeah. there's like no missions or anything. So have, have no, like, it's suppose uh, like the thing here was uh, Richard Garriott trying to. You know, after Ultima reached that point that people were just creating content for themselves, that's the experience that he was trying to recreate, and he failed miserably, because there's no one playing this game anymore. Well, there's like a thousand people concurrent at any point playing this game, and it's just the only impact that player-driven stuff has on the game is absolutely killing the performance because the performance is worse now than it was in early access okay the first... this is what i i tried i downloaded it now in the uh, system requirements i i love i love the hot hot knowledge DX11. they're dropping on you not not dx11 <laughs> In the recommended, uh, under additional notes, performance significantly improved with an SS. No, you don't fucking say, really. <laughs> um, check this out, though. What? I tried it with my crusty old slow 980. Um, it it eats dicks, man. I mean, bad. It doesn't matter what you set it on. It is like old school. I'm guessing Unity, Pedro? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, no, it's, it's a, it's it was, well, it's a fork Unity. They they bought the engine and then they okay, so they they took like mm-hmm. Unity and fucked it up more. This is yep. like day one. Oh, yes. Hey, I'm learning how to. This is like I'm learning how to be a game dev. Where you look at the wrong corner in the fucking room with nothing in it, and your FERPs just go down to like six. Mm-hmm. It's got some of that business going in it, and doing a little research. The Linux version, especially, can even bring a 1080 Ti to its fucking knees. <laughs> Ooh, I'm, 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 like, I'm excited. Pepsi yeah, no, that. it's uh, it, most of it seems to be driven by like the player houses that are spotted all around some of the towns. Ah, uh, dude, and... I, I, I'm like in the ghost form at the beginning, and it's doing it, man. <laughs> I'm no, I'm nowhere near anyone else. I'm like, you just landed in the world, and I'm like, this runs like shit. I'm out. <laughs> Yeah, no, even on the, uh, there's like one of the starter towns, I think it's Souls Town, uh, there's one of the houses right near the gate too. If you walk too close to it, the furps drop down to single digits. Mm. It's like, ah, uh, how, how do you even allow this to happen? But yeah, no, the combat system was interesting. That's part of the reason I kept playing for so long, because it's got like a roulette of skills that you can pick and you create a spell book with all the skills you want to use. But what it turns into as you just start relying on it more and more is that, oh, it's a like a macro thing that you would get in any other MMO ever, uh, except you have to hunt and pack for the skill you want to use at that particular time. So... It, when you get down to even the more powerful enemies, it's basically impossible to kill them without a party. And right now, again, there's no one playing the game. So, so I, I wanted to ask you about that too, just as a, as a short aside. Was like early access burnout, right? Um, yeah, 
because well, be, because like pe- people will people will play the crap out of the game but when it's in development then it gets released but people they, they've they've gone through the game right they're they're they've yep. had their experience and it, it's it's kind of, it's a hard ask to make to make someone like play a game over again or extend their existing playtime after they've hit a certain point and it's so a, you, especially especially noticeable with this one because they had two major changes d- during early access. When they first started, it was a teeny tiny, teeny tiny island, and they had a shit ton of people playing the game back then. Then they uh, introduced the bigger island with all of the stuff that you have now, and a lot of those players that were playing on a teeny tiny island just did not bother to come back. So there was a sharp drop right there. So the, the, this game killed itself before it even released. So it was kind of dead. Now, one of the things, this, man, how jaded I am. This is what threw me. It, it's went completely free of play. And I immediately went down the store page and I'm looking. I'm like, all right, where's the DLC to win shit? And it's not mm-hmm. there, Pedro. Nope. What's the business it's, model here? And the business model is in game proper. Uh, you don't buy the DLC through Steam. You buy it in the game itself oh put another level of fuck you between uh right yes. yeah or Good. uh you can uh, actually send money to other players in game so they can build stuff for you because that's a valid way to make money in this game apparently <laughs> all right <laughs> Let's talk about some good news. <laughs> yes. So, Flippity Jibaibo, you may remember last week or two weeks ago, we talked about uh, him joining Code Weavers to help with the audio bits. And, well, there's already uh, progress on that because someone was reporting with the uh, F audio um, issues with uh, Fallout 4 and Skyrim Legendary Edition that. Um, well, the audio is a bit fucky because it relies on exact, and uh, Flibbit was like, okay, I got my hands on Fallout 4, so I'm going to try a couple of things. Found a crash already, there's already a patch, so uh, if you know how to compile your wines, just build Proton with this patch, and hopefully you will have a much better time with Fallout this 4. This was definitely and- a thing, like reading through the GitHub. You could definitely yeah. see it was, it was like, hey man, this Fallout 4, and this is why I started reading, because I watched Pedro just eat shit on his stream on Tuesday with a click, 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 click. And yeah. so Flibbit basically, dude was like, hey man, there's an audio issue. Flibbit's like, here, hold my lifetime, uh, life size Antonio Banderas blow up doll. I got this. <laughs> and like in a period of a day or an afternoon, he's like, all right, sorted. Next. I, yeah. I had a I had a I had a similar experience with uh, Flibbit and Pyre when we when I tried to stream that in Finland and the game just ate shit. I spent like an hour with him, and yeah, like he's he's really good about that stuff. So I'm mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm all about promoting Flibbit stuff. Mm-hmm. Go play, go go compile your own Proton and then have Steam break. But all know, right, I'm all about ending girl. this damn segment though. <laughs> yeah, we we got, we got we got one more thing left though. Oh, are you sure? The hex, yeah. Bring it. What's it about? <laughs> Uh, well, it is from the makers of Pony Island, so you know it's going to be fucked. Um, what, what, what is it? Um, I, I don't know. It's, it's like one of those things where it's like a, it's like a deca page. It's a creaky old tavern. I I mean, it's, 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 hey man, that's what it is, man. It's a storm. It's raging. It's anonymous with callers and suggesting whatever. This game's a lie. What this game is in a good way. This is fucking like frog fractions level of bullshit. Yeah. And I actually know this because I was feeling guilty because I never watch the um, co-optional podcast anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Reasons. Uh, but I tuned yeah. in because I'm still subscribed on Twitch. And I was like, all right, let's see what's going on. And the uh, ginger one with the beard. He was like, oh, uh, my Jesse. Okay. He <laughs> described like how many levels of fuckery this game goes into. I was like, I... I was like, man, I might burn a heretic purchase on this. Don't have to. Supports Linux out of the box. Oh, yeah. Yes. And uh yeah, it it I go back to if you can find that in that episode, because apparently this thing is so fucking meta it burns, man. So, yeah, like de- like it, it's like some weird deconstructive game within a game within a game within a game but like even the characters the like their yeah. backstories and shit and then it ends up like you end up live streaming and you got to deal with the <laughs> chat and <laughs> oh and, that's great like yeah. the base concept of the game is in itself pretty meta it's like oh the video game characters are video game characters huh 
<laughs> it, yeah, everyone goes to a motel and you learn about the backstories and deal with the backstories and there's games and how they became the head. Uh, I think I'm probably going to like give him 10 bucks after Pedro emails and be like, hey, why don't you send us some copies? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Now we can finally put it to bed. Coming up next, NVIDIA cards catch fire in your box and kill you outright. No, they don't, but they, they're going to break. I'll tell you about it. I guess that pretty much wraps up the steam. So before we get to the news, let's get down to you guys and gals and everyone else in between who, for some reason, you decide that helping this show well, I was is trying to pay attention a good to Pedro. investment. I realized that, you know, if I like shake my feet up and down, I can make the monitor wobble a little bit. <laughs> yeah, no, that's just me uh, scooching around in the chair because this place is on wheels. <laughs> but wobble, hey. wobble, <laughs> wobble, wobble. <laughs> Hey, hey, all you cool people, you should wobble wobble over to LinuxGameCast.com and click that oh, support shit. button where we have a Shameless bunch of links. Self promotion. Yeah. Hey, man, hey, man, drop drop the pretense. Give us money. Uh, oh, here, here's a number of ways to do that via Amazon affiliate links or Newegg affiliate links or our humble partner link or all these links that you can click on. Click, follow them through another couple pages. Maybe maybe enter your credit card number and maybe we'll get something. We even we even a wish list if you want to. I want to buy. Nope, that's that's pretty much fucking legit, Amazon. You yeah, yeah. Right. And, 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 all right. And, 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 and another uh, another a channel mixer. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, if 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 you want to be our sugar daddies, you can also get us stuff off our Amazon wish list, and you can become one of Frank's fuck buddies. But real cool people, they head on over to patreoncom slash linuxgamecast.com and become patreons to get awesome stuff like access to the Discord channel, early show note access, your name in the fucking credits, and a bunch of other cool stuff. We got so much content behind this lovely little paywall uh you get to you get access to a whole lot more stuff you know we, than, we have uh, a particularly shit paywall if you think about it it kind of comes mm -hmm. down after a few days Let's, shh, shh, shh. We don't, oh we don't i mean uh, we have everything paywalled you must uh, finance our independent podcast in order to receive things Yes, uh, we, we got we got some, we got some new folks. We got to take well, old folks, anyways. Uh, old Frostclaw's folks. back on the uh, on the Patreon wagon. He's back. So thank on you, the Mr. Frostclaw. Cocaine and uh, Linux Nuru, who's saying uh, I became a patron, patron basically because of the uh, Doctor Who show. This was unquote. really cute earlier. Hey, we <laughs> want to shout out. Look at all the beautiful people. They're hanging out in the live channel. Because, <laughs> hey, man, you can still join through IRC, but we got another special uh, thing called General Disarraison. It's a, as somebody pointed out, I think Steven from Door to Door Geeks pointed out yesterday. He's like, damn it, this is the only Discord channel that I subscribe to out of the seven that's active. I'm like, yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> yeah. It we're, is we're kind busy of there. Uh, but no, Linux Nero. Uh, Got a legitimate chuckle out of me because it's like, when's the game of who thing coming out? It's the thing Jordan and I do. Uh, hang on, do do I have that set up? This. <gasps> do, 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 do. Now storing Pedro. Do, uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> no, God damn it! Now I got to take that off for YouTube. Uh, <laughs> we do this show, and it was just kind of funny. He's like, how do I get when does that come out? And something I had to mention that. It used to be like if you wanted to become a patron and you wanted to use your PayPal, you had to have that link to a credit card or a debit card or something like that. They've changed that. And I was like, yo, that's got fixed. And he's like, oh, shit, I'm a patron now. And he's like, huh. So it took the game of Who Show after all these years. Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it did. Uh, one thing I do want to point out. First, thanks to each and every one of you who make this possible because this is a weird experiment that we decided to do. And I should probably get back on the three shot. Look at that. Thanks for telling me, guys. <laughs> Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> both of those have like zoned out. Uh, to do an independent podcast, uh, we're not beholding to anyone except for you. So you might not agree with what we say, but you know we're being honest about it. Our opinions are our own. One thing we've added on the Discord, and everyone get into it. For anyone who's uh, 250 and above, we go live an hour early. A couple of people have been taking that advantage. Uh, Atomic Scott. I saw Joe pop in last week a couple times. That and if you're an executive producer, you get voice access. You can chime in because you're a boss making an app and you can be like, shut up, go back to talking about stupid stuff. And we might, and we might not because we don't follow instructions very well. But uh, I think that's it. Uh, thanks everyone making this possible. This is cool. This is fun. We want to do more. We want to get the numbers up, especially on Patreon because we got a gang of people heading to LA and I need to equip them with cameras and shit so we can do live shows and live streams and that shit ain't gonna be cheap yo 
All right. Crotch mounted cameras, guys. Yes. Yes. This is see, no, I thought we had the I thought we had the financing to do it and Jordan's like, no, crotch mounted. That's going to be a custom rig. <laughs> Can we just like crotch mounted? How about we do no, a shoulder no, 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 crotch no, no. mounted? Listen, it's really easy to make. You just got to like buy one of those pre built strap ons, take out the dildo, and replace it with a GoPro. And anyways, we're talking about video cards. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so apparently. Seamless um, transition. Nailed it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I, I'm, I'm super happy about this because I dodged the fuck out of this bullet. Uh, apparently people uh, who are, who picked up a RTX 2080 Ti are reporting black screens under windows, blue screens, artifacting and cards that just straight up die. Um, these seem to be, these issues seem to be restricted with the uh, founders edition and maybe some gigabyte and Asus models. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, the, the, these cards are working for a couple weeks, and then they just kind of stop. So is this going to be? So it begs the question: Is this going to be like the early run of like the R seventeen hundreds, where they push they push out a revision and that fixes the problem and they'll like RMA it, or is it something like the the nine seventy, where it's a fundamental problem with the card design and they'd have to go straight up back to the drawing board in order to fix this? Uh, um, well, we, naturally, we, we Nvidia's right. doing what Nvidia does, what they have to do. Is <laughs> so like, I, uh, what did they say? To quote them, particular uh, small numbers working of, uh... with users individually, but we're not seeing any broader issues. Uh, it's not like everyone is like, oh shit, I have four point five gigs of RAM. This is not like when that happened, but there's definitely enough, and there's a couple of sites out there going send us your twenty eighty so we can investigate. And it's kind of interesting because there's no way to like overvolt the 2080. So this is like a problem out of the box, right? Yeah. And a lot of people on the Reddit thread that this, uh, where this story came from, basically, uh, were saying that the moment they installed it, they started to see like weird pixelization in some areas of the screen. And some people uh, even posted like uh, pictures of their monitors with the artifacting being very clearly shown. And I have seen that artifacting uh, with the two uh, four, uh, 4200 TIs that I had back in the day. Uh, those cards showed that exact same type of artifacting because they were frying themselves. They literally had a little too much power going through them. Uh, so I don't know what the hell NVIDIA is doing. Damn this it, is basically man, bump I, gate 2.0. I need 2. Like a screenshot <laughs> for like laughs in AMD. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, just just a picture of Lisa Sue just going right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, but like that that that's that's the thing. We we don't know much about this issue right now. Maybe 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 it's a driver problem. This that's the thing though. These articles tend to focus on like the Windows end of it. So I'm not sure. Did someone? I I didn't see it. But did anyone in the Reddit thread bring up that they were using Linux and were encountering these problems? I didn't see any because I was didn't just reading through all the people with the problems. I was like. Y'all got more money than sins. Um Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, listen, I'm 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 Neo Dodge Bull Dodge if on that. I'm I'm, I'm Exactly I'm, like uh, that, Mir. Exactly like that. Uh, I'm gonna get my grubby hands on it. <laughs> Ho hopefully it won't affect the twenty seventies. That, that's in my piggy bank right there. I'm tossing mm -hmm. shit because it, only Whoa. it's faster than Pedro's. That's all I care about. Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 you know, you know, we'll we'll wait a few weeks, maybe we'll find out. But for those of you whose uh video cards aren't cooking themselves on in uh, Team Green, you can use uh, Goliath OU FX, a Java FX uh overclocking utility for NVIDIA GPUs. They have a brand new release. Um, came out about four days ago. Uh, notable things here is uh, that now you don't actually need to enable cool bits in your xorg.com for this to work, although you will get reduced uh, functionality as a consequence because it needs uh, some of that stuff exposed. Uh, it also has a cool new skin. Look at that. It's so sexy. Let's you overclock your video card, see all the little attributes there. You Jordan, Jordan, things back Jordan and forth. can I ask you a question? What? You, you live the UHD life like I do, right? Yeah. So when you Rider opened die. this, was this thing so mice type as well? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. As sure. you were. Ja that, 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 that's a Java thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. You, that, that's a blanket statement for a lot of shit. <laughs> like 1940, a Java thing. Um, I tried it, uh, and I, it was usable if I got like close. <laughs> to my 3840 by 2160 display it was like okay and i i clicked through it jordan what are your thoughts on this this basically is like enabling cool bits 24 i think mm -hmm. with a voltage and all that mm -hmm. which 
you know what? I think this is a good thing, Pedro, for like somebody coming from Windows who needs like the little, spe- the, you know, it's like, but in order yes. to do this, I need a special program. Because In Windows order users. to not have to, uh, you know, deal with the environment variables and NVIDIA has a lot of those. Also, NVIDIA, your built-in overclocking thing with the offset, that's stupid. Get rid of that. Yeah. Yeah, I know that's really bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this one, it's actually really nice to have a GUI that gives you access to do- all of those environment variables, especially like the HUD ones, because you can have a little HUD on the corner of your screen with like the driver version, the temperature that the card is running, everything else all the time. If you're testing something, you kind of want that up. And this little tool actually lets you have that, and you can pick exactly what you, what you want that HUD to show. So that's really, really nice. That's kind of awesome, actually. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's yep. available. You can check it out at GitHub. Apparently, this one didn't migrate over to GitLab. Ah, God damn it. Stay down, <laughs> food. Um, but uh, He's yeah. got a roast cooking. <laughs> so he, he can barely contain itself. <laughs> Listen, listen, my 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 you you could roast something in between my thighs, let me tell you. Hey ladies and gentlemen, do you hate money? Uh <laughs> <laughs> that has nothing to do with our next story. Uh system seventy six Thilo, is it Thilio? Are we doing Thilio? Thilio. Yeah. Thilio. Thilio. Open source Linux powered, made in the USA. Rock, yeah. System seventy six, they've been talking about this for a while. They're like, hey man, we're gonna do um manufacturing in the States and everything's gonna be cool. Don't worry. Oh my god, look at the price. Uh, yeah, starting at ten ninety nine. <laughs> it's a bit much, Brad. It's a bit much. But how much would you pay for Atari wood grain? Well, it's, it's mahogany. It's like a, it's ma- mahogany. It looks uh, like a mahogany. fucking Atari twenty six hundred. It 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 mahogany. does mahogany. Uh, no, no, I'm not entirely yeah, sold on that wood trimming. Hey man, listen though. I mean, it's budget minded. I mean, starting at ten ninety nine ninety nine. I mean. Yeah, I, I, that's I mean, a like, weird here, budget. Here's here's the thing, though, right? Like, this sort of product has no appeal to our target, our target but demographic. Bullshit. Because the, we, the, yeah. the Leo Massive, up to 768 gigajoules of ECC memory and 86 terabytes of storage. You can just buy that, though. Like, all of us build our computers. You Jordan, can totally- Jordan, wood grain. I can <laughs> listen. Listen, yeah, we. Can, then, then let, let, let's take on a get head, head out in the car, take down a trip to Home Depot and can't, buy some can't wood. Can't hear you over over the wood grain, man. It, it's fucking with my vision. <laughs> Damn it! Where'd this credit card coming from? Stop, ah, stop, 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 <laughs> stop snorting wood grain, man. You gotta stop sniffing sawdust. It's rotting mm, your mind. It's good shit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it it it, it is kind of nice though that like. Someone is actually trying to put out some, you know, Linux workstations that you can, you know, buy. But I would, I would have a hard time trying to justify this. Hey, they got the AMD uh, thread ripping options. Yeah, a thread yes. a thread ripper, like a pre built thread ripper system with Linux pre installed, uh, that may sell something. Not that stupid wood trimming. Can you imagine thread if you just bought a, like a thread ripping system and you saw that this came out? Man. <laughs> You could have had wood green. That's all I'm saying. Um, no, that 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 that, seven, that seventies automobile chic man. It's all it's all about that. And to speak about the stick on wood green stuff that does exist, and it's reasonably priced, and I might have ordered some. Are are, are you are we gonna have like wood grain Nicholas Cage behind you eventually? <laughs> the game is a foot gum shoes. That's all I'm saying. Um, Bark skin. All right, let's talk about Scandinavian witchcraft. Yes. So uh, a couple of people decided, you know what? Running native OpenGL is just way too mainstream nowadays. So what if we took Vulcan... Let's put some fucky shit between it. <laughs> and we put... Uh, and we ran OpenGL through Vulcan. And someone in that team said, that's a great idea. And I got to interject the first thing. Uh, why implement... No, 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 no. You, too many words in that first highlight it should just be why question mark <laughs> yeah no it's right. literally just why, why but hey why, why it's do? uh it's they call it zinc and it is an open gl layer built on top of vulcan so when you're you when you think about it like at first it's like why why would you do that but then you start to think okay Future in mind, uh, everything, let's imagine a 100% Vulkan system, and you still need to run that legacy application. What do you do? 
Well, there you go. That's what you do. You get Zinc and you run that OpenGL on top of Vulkan. And being able to run old APIs on top of uh, the new thing is possibly going to streamline a lot of software in the future because they don't have to worry about anything. They just make their thing Vulkan compatible. And then if someone needs it to run something else, done. <laughs> yeah, the, and... the, 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 the future proofing aspect of this is... Like, okay, so here's here's the thing. Like, hardware support for OpenGL is not going to go anywhere for, like, another 100 years or so. No. <laughs> so, event, so eventually, like, in, in, in the year 2118, this, this project will be very, very useful. Someone will be like, oh, someone already did all this work. Um, though I, I will say, you know what? It, it may not be that case because mobile... Uh, they might they might choose to restrict mm -hmm. uh, OpenGL hardware in uh, mobile GPUs just to you know save on die space and power efficiency and crap like that. Um, the thing with this though is that OpenGL drivers are like really complex and do a lot of optimization stuff behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. So um, they they even say in in the, in this uh, in this little Collabora uh, uh, news article that you know what it performs better than you would expect it would, but it's not going to beat a native driver. Um, yeah, I think the hardest thing with this to get over is the why. <laughs> I can yeah. see the why as a future thing, but right now, yeah. Hey, man, uh, get to work early, I guess. I, I don't know, man. This is like wine for rendering. Well, no, it, it, it's DXVK, but with OpenGL, well, that thing that's also available on words. It's salad. using Proton to run Sony Vegas. Yes. Why? True. All right. <laughs> Jorg has got something. That has tickled Pedro very inappropriately. Yes, it did. And uh, I can't remember if it was just like uh, an LGC players or if it was a full-on stream that we did, Ven, that we played this game. And um, we were trying to play another game and it didn't work, so we played this one. Mm. Uh, and it only had like the top view camera, oh, like yeah. micro yep. machine style thing. Yep. And... Um, now they have a new version out. It's York, not point ten. And the big one here, at least for me, is like, ooh, there's a back, uh, like a back view camera. You could just have like the standard third person style camera that you have in other racing games. And of course, they um, updated the uh, the multiplayer implementation, which uh, they say will help players experience considerably. The yeah, the, well, the back view camera. Like, create an account in game now. You yeah. Yes, right. That, yeah, that will remember that, everything and your scores and your stats and whatnot. But that, yeah, no, the back view camera kind of looks uh, using XMPP for multiplayer stuff. That was yeah. I mean, it's it's, it's, it's definitely a way to do it. I, there's no technical reason why it wouldn't work. It's just strange. I don't know. And no one else was doing it, so they were basically doing it themselves. So they didn't want to. But yeah, it's it's Yorg. It's uh, one of them free games that you could just download and give it a bash. Hey, they even have a Patreon, so uh, pay yes. support. I mean, if you're like, I don't like your show enough, but go, go find some other people on Patreon too. I mean, it's a mm -hmm. great way to help finance projects like this, our, our nonsense and everything else. But yeah, mm -hmm. multiplayer, we might have to try that out. I feel like torturing ours. It's come so <laughs> far, though. Yeah, yeah, it has. And in, and, in, and in the end, it doesn't even matter. Fine. Uh, Super Tux cart or Super Tux party? Yes, Super Tux Su cart. Super Tux party no, cart. Cart parties. Par party cart. Carty. It's a party cart. <laughs> Super Tux carty. Um, yeah, they have uh, Alpha not zero two or not point two released. Um, we they that adds a new character, Godet, the Godot mascot, who's unofficial. I'd, Probably why I've never heard of it before. It's Godot Tan or whatever. Um, they got some. They got. They got about. Uh, they got some new animations. That for just characters. looks like a penguin that got a hold of the wrong stuff. That's pretty much it. Yeah, uh, and a bunch of new mini games. Uh, they fixed some memory leaks. Um, improved uh, mesh and texture stuff. <laughs> this, What's this, this game? What's this game called? It's, These it's, motherfuckers it's, it's, can't it's, swim. Let's find it's, out. Yeah, pretty pretty much knock each other off the platform. It's Mario Party. Yeah. So it's just a bunch of collection. Of, it's a collection of mini games that you. Um, can you know? I, I don't know. May, may, maybe Jill and company can do that at one of the LGC parties. Where it's like, oh, we're only playing native <laughs> Linux party games that aren't Towerfall, which is way, which is way more fun for parties. Um, but yeah, uh, it's. I mean, this this is still very early. We we covered when the project originally launched, and they're mm -hmm. they're still making they're still making headway. I um, mean, this all came over a Reddit thread, and uh, somebody mm -hmm. saying, "Hey, man, how come there's no like Mario party games for Linux?" And somebody was like, "Here, hold my penguin, and I'm gonna do it." Mm -hmm. 
And that yeah. happened. And this is being made with Godot too. It is. Yeah. Um, they have, they have is. a GitLab as well. So if you want to mm -hmm. contribute, you absolutely They are currently to looking that. for artists. So yep. I, I'm just saying, you know, 3D models, yeah. us three would be perfect in a party game. Oh yes. <laughs> no, oh, no. See, see, we, we, we should we should get we should get cocaine Voltron in there. I don't think all three of us. Listen, we, we we're gonna be like fucking Saiyans, man. There are gonna be multiple fucking transformations. <laughs> or, or, oh, oh, Eventually you know, we, into like a fourteen-inch purple dildo that just flops. We, we, no, we we need we need Frank and Mario Party. That's what we need. Frank will fuck. Yeah, me. this isn't even our final form. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So, no, one of the things I liked was that now uh, the game actually remembers your settings because it used to not do that. And you would set it, okay, I want it at this resolution, full screen, everything up to 11 as far as the game would let you. And, and the game forgot about them. But now it remembers. So that's good. Progress. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Well, our memory is completely wiped. We got kill nine. And maybe, I guess, I guess coming up next, we're going to... Hey, chairs at, listen, uh, man, our Halloween, our October of Terror Games is over, so we can finally mm -hmm. go back to regular stuff. Absolutely. Stay tuned for that coming up. Welcome back to the Cheerquisition. This is where we take a game, we break it down, we tell you if it launches, how it performs, how it looks, and how it controls, and we rate that on a scale from one to four, or we rate that on a pass fill, uh, and we tally that off. How many off weeks do we do the new intro? <laughs> I mean, it, 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 it's <laughs> really fun. It's, it's because, not. It's like, not. Inter it's not internalized yet, and dude, I do it I, once no, a week. It makes me happy. You trip in the same spot every week. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, I, I am a creature of habit. Anyways, uh, we we then we braided the game on one to four chairs for the fun. Uh, what what are we reading this week? This is Damon Nine. Uh, it's from Curio Productions. It's done entirely in Chrome and whatever browser your links open up in by default. What is it? Morgan Shane has disappeared, leaving a bloody trail of mayhem in our wake. But is she a monster or a victim of something far more sinister than the authorities are imaginating? Imaginating. There you go. That's the show title. <laughs> That's go. a new word. And the biggest question of them all. Can you unravel the mystery before the same dark force that targeted Morgan finds you? Can I, I really hope it's Star Wars. If I can use my dis wrangler, I can. I yeah. can wrangle all Listen, the things. I, 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 hope it, I hope it's Star Wars Dark Forces because that game is the it's shit. Like ZomboCom with dis wrangler. Yeah, uh, the, the the dev sent us some keys for this uh, via Curator Connect, so we got to give him a shout out for that. So let's break it down. Ven, how did it work on Ubuntu? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the Cheerquisition, may I present to you, how does it run on 1804 LTS with Ubuntu's Ryzen 1700 powered by 980, 16 gigajoules of RAM, and a little bit of patience. It launches on the wrong monitor, because that's what it does. Uh, it likes to, and only likes to, launch on the monitor to the right of my primary display, which, you know, you're thinking that's not going to be too big of an issue. You can get over that. You can just drag it to your primary if you want. Yeah. But I'm like, Hey man, you're over there anyway. I'm just going to full screen you and I'm going to play a little bit and I'm playing I'm like, ah, oh, man, is there some tips, hints, thoughts, allegations? Oh, the game is kind enough to provide this. Let me click up here and click to open the help page. Locks the fucking game. Hang steam. It is fucking impressive. The level of like, what the fuck? Really? Good, good job. Good job. So no, no bad game. You don't get a pass on that. Minus one chair on that. And it's got two nasty habits of a not recording your playtime. B not dying. A game about killing and murderating likes to hang around as a zombie process. Figure that one out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, performance. It runs at 1080p at UHD. I even tried it. I didn't have the same issue that uh, Jordan and Pedro ran into. But not that you could tell, because guess what? Overlay doesn't work. Mm. But you're playing a desktop and you're playing videos on a desktop, so whatever. Uh, speaking of that, graphics, have you ever seen the uh, TV show Desktop OS, is what I call it? <laughs> the made-up bullshit interface? That's basically what you're going to be dealing with. As far as the controls, you base it's click. Click, 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 drag, click, 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 right click, go. Why doesn't that fucking work? Click, 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 click. So, yeah. <laughs> Three chairs. Yeah. Um. On uh, Fedora twenty eight 
um, 64 bit with the i7 6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti, which is woefully wasted on this. Could you, could you could have pulled it off, man? Did you, did you have to <laughs> overclock it a little bit? Not right. <laughs> I, I had to get that overclocking utility running. Um, yeah, does, does it launch? Yeah, it's Chrome, so better. Um, doesn't, yeah, like as like was mentioned before, it leaves a bunch of zombie processes, not anything sinister like evil witch ring lady things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um. <laughs> That's a really crappy blur job. My God. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, it leaves a bunch of it, the Chrome processes kind of just stick around until you kill nine of them. That's a little annoying, so I'm going to ding it a chair for that. Um, Performance-wise, yeah, it's a bunch of GIFs and videos in Chrome. So if you can run Chrome, it's going to run fine. I will say, though, trying to full screen this. YouTube uh, going to sue somebody for trademark infringement. Oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> um, yeah, I, 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 will, I will say that... Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I will say though that like blowing blowing this up to UHD does not do this game any favors. This is a this is a 1080p virtual desktop. It looks like a butt, uh, but not enough to get in a chair. Um, yeah, graphics. It is very much the napkin drawing up a desktop. Um, if, if if you if you if you're like me and you creep on what's on the computers and like procedural crime dramas, this is the same sort of shit you'll see. I will I will say this though, the file browser here reminds me of like really old Nautilus. Mm-hmm. And it trips mm-hmm. me up because I keep expecting keyboard shortcuts or like right clicking to work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't. And it makes me angry. Uh, um, control wise, it's all clickety clack, tappity tap. It's no big deal. So I'll give it I'll give it three out of four for working, I guess. Yeah. No, the, it, the game does have a nasty habit of leaving a demon uh, of oh, source oh, running oh. in the background. Mm-hmm. I, I, w- mm. I will. I will say this. This part in the game looks really, really goofy in window. Okay, I'm just saying. Yes, this, this yes, is it having does. a wrong effect on <laughs> on my junk right now. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but sorry, yeah, Petro, I on. really don't care about uh, ARG elements. It, the moment you will start leaving zombie processes running on my system, doing fuck knows what, you're going to lose a chair. And yeah, the performance. Yeah, it performs. I don't know what you're expecting. It's just click around and watch videos. Um, the hey, man, graphics. Some, some would say like zombie processes are the spoopiest part of this game. Yeah, <laughs> uh, there are some pixely ass overlays that you get, uh, but yeah, no, the graphics work fine, except when you oh, well, it, at least on my system with Solus 64 bit because that's the only version that they have uh, on the Ryzen uh, 5 uh, 1600 and the GTX 1080. When I try to full screen on the 3840 by 2160 monitor it just renders like the top left quadrant of the game so i have to move the game to one of the 1080p monitors and then i can play in full screen i i don't know what the hell's up with that uh controls yeah no there's some mouse clicking and if you're really advanced some typing so it gets two out of four chairs (laughs) Mm. (laughs) all right well uh, we find out that if your system can run Chrome, it can I gotta run this be game. honest. I didn't have two chairs loaded up because I didn't think anything could eat that much dick. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh well. Uh, what, what 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 about fun? Do you have fun browsing Facebook and watching YouTube videos? Then, oh man, you know it. Um, I, like before we even get into that, one of the things that kills me with this game is part of playing it is going to an external website. And part of going uh, to an external website in your regular browser is forgetting that you have this fucking game running because it's really easy to get distracted. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> yep. Because it's very important because our magic number is seven. Seven is the number of external websites this glorified fucking art project requires to function as a game. With a game made using Chromium that requires mm-hmm. a persistent online internet connection. When, and there is always a when, these sites go dark in the future, oh. your game will be busted bad design choice there brad i'm just saying um however good choice shooting everything on a canon uh fixia looking at pick one of those up kind of notice that in the background kind of assuming there demon nine it's not a movie it's not a game it's something that belongs in portfolio of a year two film student and kind of not the steam store if you you know you see kids the only way that you can pull off an FMV in 2018 is kind of to be over the top. Over the top campy, over the top bad, kind of like us, horrible. Uh, mock what made that genre bad, not try to reproduce it. 
And, you know, honestly, during the first five minutes of this game, I wasn't sure if they were being campy or being serious. I, it's, mm, maybe, unfortunately, it quickly became obvious that Curio Productions kind of chose the latter on this. So I say once more, ladies and gentlemen of the chair acquisition, I tried. I really tried. But the only thing here is a, for me, collect the clues adventure game that occasionally fucks with your display, as you can see if you're watching the video version, and forces you to dig around in external websites. You really should mention that the game requires online connectivity and copy pasta your clues and get a solution and maybe a bite-sized Snickers. It's not a lazy game. It's not shovelware. It Somebody made it. They put some love into it. Attention was paid. They did what they could. But at the end of the day, for me, all I can take that shot, hashtag Proton, take another shot. It's simply not fun. Personally, I've seen Windows ME desktops more frightening than <laughs> Demon 9. Yeah. So here's the thing. Like, I, 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 I disagree with Ben in the sense that this isn't a game. This is absolutely a game, but it's it's a different type of game, game, right? You said qualify as a game. Yeah, yeah I'm stretching it. Yeah. Anyways, no. The, the, it's this, a better love a... story than Gone Home. Yes, we, we, we've discussed this. <laughs> That's not a high uh, bar. <laughs> anywho. Um, yeah, like the, the, this, this is like a really small sco so scope self-contained ARG, which means that there's a lot of investigating and a lot of like working outside the game in order to solve puzzles. Um, there's a thing where you have to like call a number, you have to send someone an email, you have to find passwords and they give you tools. They give you like hacker utilities and a vinegar cipher, uh, decryptor thingy to, uh, assist you in your, um, uh, in your quest to find out who possessed and murdered whoever this is. This is um, spooky ghost it's so spooky. Yeah. Uh, the thing I wrote. <laughs> you, you, gotta, 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 you get find Adam. I'm like, the I, I, I get all, all, I, I gotta, all of this stuff. All of this stuff would I, I feel works really would work really well on like a uh, on a um, on like a full screen desktop. But when you're running this in a window, it's just really goofy. It's it's like there's jump scares and shit. And I, I, I don't know. Um, but uh, here's here's the thing. Um, there's uh, th this sort of thing sort of requires you to like a care about ARGs. B be willing to actually dive in and solve the puzzles. And you know, see, continue playing this game. I feel like when, whenever I'm confronted with one of these, I need to go like full Charlie from "It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia." I need to have all the shit posted on the walls with like the scrawling and like the strings connecting them, drawing some random ass conclusions. And I couldn't bring myself to do this with this game because there's there's so much information you got to wade through, and a lot of it is just like college girl dorm room drama that I I just can't be asked Becky. to care about. I, <laughs> yeah, wa 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 watching some of these videos, going over Facebook posts, like, ah, it's boring. The mystery isn't doing it. I'm not hooked. I don't care. This is the same sort of schlocky, um, schlocky, oh, technology, horror, evil, demon, computer thing that's been done to death a million freaking times in a million movies and TV shows and games. Way better than this. I'll, I'll give it one share. Now, I got to throw in before you get in. The thing I wrote where it says Demon 9 is not a movie, dot, dot, it's not a game, dot, dot directly off their twitter page yeah <laughs> no it's on their steam um uh, store page yeah. as well but uh, well uh, uh, sorry uh, just, just one more thing when when this, when ven you brought this up that this was like an fmv game i was expecting phantasmagoria i wanted something like that like you said I, can't be in over the top I, not, I wanted something that genuinely mocked that what made the like, I, I wanted night trap level shit you know yeah like like an homage like an, an affectionate oh, you, parody dude, i think you that, can get night trap on the switch now you absolutely can. Yeah, they did a remastered Sweet. version. All right, Pedro. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I don't like detective games on the best of days because it, it's just not my thing. I don't like ARGs on the best of things because they usually involve getting out of the house. And when I play video games, I play them for the experience that they provide. And while the atmosphere in Damon 9 is certainly very well done, if you're playing it full screen, I had to force myself to go through the links the game opened on my actual Chrome browser uh, and just try to figure out what the hell was going on when uh, the, the best example or the best comparison that I can find for this game is her story when that game came out I was actually curious not you know curious enough to play it but I watched a reasonable uh, playthrough on YouTube and 
the difference between Damon 9 and her story, uh, it goes far beyond the poorly pixelated tit shots that are in this game. And there are a few. Uh, her story was a self-contained experience where everything you needed was in-game. Here, the moment the devs stop paying for those URLs, the game, or actually solving the game, becomes infeasible. Uh, if you're playing outside the US, spooky phone calls that you're supposed to get don't work unless you sign up for one of those online US phone number services. As much as I like like the horror elements here, these games take a special kind of person to enjoy, and I'm just not that kind of guy, so one chair. Ah, that's terrifying. It's Windows. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, that way, I was kind of spooky. It looked like Windows 10. <laughs> yeah. All right. Coming up next, we're going to go change our diapers and then do some hate mail. And it's about time we wrap this up. What do you say? Sound good? Okay. So, um,. That was not an intentional rhyme, but it sort of worked. So if you'd like to get in touch with us and, uh, well, let me know just how terrible that uh, pretense for a rhyme was, feel free to head to linuxgamecast.com, hit the contact button, fill out the form. It's pretty easy. Make sure to pick LGC Weekly from the little choosy box. And uh, Google may or may not ask you to uh, train their AI. Uh, find all the street um, lights. Find all of the... Uh, Traffic signs, whatever. Man, uh, like, find find, find us through way and find all the pictures uh, with pedestrians on it. So it was like yeah. Friday, I logged into our website in the min area and it gave us uh, one of those robot captures. And it was mm -hmm. like, click all the squares with the person on a motorcycle. Motherfucker, you were on a scooter. That was a scooter, Google. And I didn't click mm -hmm. on any. It's like, you're a robot. And I was like, uh uh, I got standards, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so outside of that it's actually the best way to get in touch with us and uh if you're a game developer make sure to include three keys or a build that we can share amongst all of us and pick the correct category as well we very much appreciate that and then uh you have a bit of a request to make of the people yeah don't i'm you? throwing this out man we're trying to be all educational and helpful and shit so yeah. i'm <laughs> going to be doing a multi-part series on audio video production under linux so if you have some questions like send them our way uh and like send them our way through a contact form so i can keep track of them don't like hit me on yeah Twitter. Like <laughs> basic stuff like how do i do this stuff that i'm not immediately going to think of because i want to get as i said wednesday i want to take care of all the youtube comments when i do this because this, this is mm -hmm. going to be long it's going to be drawn out but by the end of it you'll be able to reproduce this horribleness that we've come up with all right patreon is also a really good place to uh submit questions as well Yes. Definitely see those. Yes. yes. That works. <laughs> Brilliant. Ooh. All right. So, first right. up, we have uh, Katana Steel from Shut Realm asking or telling us about host names. We were talking and, about naming a couple of weeks back. Yeah. And he said, I let my kids name my latest laptop. So, it got the name Olaf. Isn't that like the porn comic? <laughs> yes. With ogres? Yes. It is. Yes. Um, yes, it is. Okay. So, so, here, so, so here, here's, here's a question then. What are, what are your machines name? Mine? Yeah. Uh, this one's Pedro, the one that Pedro's on. <laughs> this other one's called Iscariot for reasons. Uh, that's yours. Because you're a big Helsing fan, right? Yeah, that's it. The Alabama chapter. Uh, and uh, this one is uh, the render box is Tipsy Danger, as I'm sure everyone knows. And everything around the house is a variation of like Bob. <laughs> Yeah, um, <laughs> it's a it's a shit enough variation to where it gets confusing a lot of the times, and I'm like, man, you need to go back and rename. I was like, no, then I got to redo everything. My, mine is mine is a mishmash of a couple of naming standards that have just kind of congealed together and you know ceased to be anything meaningful. This one's called Stovetop. The new Ryzen ThinkPad is called Fronkpad, and the <laughs> server I have running like projects at the house is called Uranium because all of the virtual machines are named after like uh, isotopes. Hmm. Yeah. No, no. See, mine, uh, this one, the desktop is called the Amiga 1600. It used to be just called the Amiga, but now that it's got the Ryzen, it got the uh, the suffix. And uh, the Steambox, well, it's called the Steambox 360. So, man. Oh, yeah. And it was it was Oglaf, which was the uh, porn comic, not Olaf. Well, I guess I should break out um, Frankenass and Zathnass. I do have those mm -hmm. two. 
But that's about as creative as I fucking get, man. I have the uh, the Dell Latitude 620 that I just have because of the serial port at the back. That's just called serial. With, you know, the serial as in the thing you eat at breakfast. No, you, you, should, you, should, you should change the name to Al Gore. Cause he's like serial like the pocket. The, here, listen, as a bit of an aside, the whole Olaf thing, I saw it on our comics, and it's always marked NSFW. I've never seen anything in SW in that fucking comic. Maybe my... There, there, like, there, there, there is. There, there, there's, there, there's a lot of dicks. <laughs> there's, there, there's, there's a lot of dicks and penetrative, penetrative <laughs> jokes. Okay. But I, I, I've, actually, I've actually been a fan of that comic for years. Dicks so. should be safe for work. Last Dick, but not least. Uh, yeah, uh, up next we got uh, from Psutal. Psutal. Um, he's uh, asking about a gaming Wi-Fi adapter. Uh, Vin said, because he's apparently from New Zealand, that Jordan was on Wi-Fi, which I'm not. I was at one point. Uh, can he recommend a Linux-friendly Wi-Fi adapter for gaming desktop? Um, yes, I can. Um, for the most part, in my experience, Atheros cards tend to be the most reliable. Mm -hmm. uh, Intel ones are a bit sketchy because um, sometimes... The, the depending on what kernel you have, the driver may not be good. Uh, and stay the fuck away from anything real tech. Just don't, just don't do it. Yeah, real, uh, real tech and uh, wait, Broadcom. Wait, wait, wait. Real tech stay still, away from them. Uh, and Broadcom? Bro 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 Broadcom's not too bad these days. Are they Bro Bro still not too bad these days. shit shows in 2018? Mm -hmm. Are they? Oh, Question uh, mark. Uh, uh, well, I, I mean, if you, if, you, if you got like a wireless AC or something, then you should be fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, even, even, um, even Netgear, uh, they just rebrand a bunch of the Atheros stuff and just release them with their own uh, sl uh, with their own badges slapped on them. So, yeah, no, uh, if you find like the cheap Netgear stuff, those will work really well. Yeah, <laughs> just 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 as as a precaution, just because I I personally have had really bad experience with them. If you have good experience with them, send me some hate mail. I don't give a shit. Um, but <laughs> check check to see what the chipset on the on the like Wi-Fi card is. Stay mm -hmm. the hell away from real tech or real media or whatever the hell that is. It, they they're really spotty. Do um, is there going to make any difference with like uh, USB? Because I guess shit, man. Not, Wait, not not, re not really. No. no. Versus PCIe. For, I mean, what what, what, if uh, I, what if I have? All right, here, here's a natural hell. What if, what if I have gigabit fiber and I, I don't I, I have no mouth but I don't have a Ethernet either. I'm so I, I mean I mean so you, US, USB 3.0 can do gigabit fine. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Uh, but if you're just doing like wireless N, then like just USB 2.0 is more than sufficient because that because uh, what was it wireless N is just like fast Ethernet or something. It's like there's like a hundred megabit. Like it's it's fine. You'll be fine. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, whatever you had was almost good enough for space Skype. Yeah, that was uh, that was the Atheros card. All right, okay, that's brilliant. Uh, I think because we're done with the show, it's time to do the music. Oh yeah, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thanks for showing up. If you're listening to this, uh, most likely, or maybe watching it because you discovered, like we did, that we do have a YouTube channel which you can subscribe to and click a bell, which it will unsubscribe you to, like twice in one week. <laughs> you did that to me, YouTube. <laughs> Not my own channel. Another channel I was following twice you did it you motherfuckers um i'm vin stone you can always find me at vin stone on twitter where i have a thousand people following me and i you can join the rest of the world including myself going fucking really why <laughs> i don't have a thousand people following me but if you follow me at the burning fool on twitter or plus jordan's fun with plus or at frojo on our mastodon at mass.linuxgamecast.com you win a bite-sized snickers that, ah, that failed miserably whatever i don't fucking care no, that was just a cardboard thing. Yeah, uh, I that am a build up for um... <laughs> Yeah, we're very disappointing. Wah, and wah. if you want to be disappointed, you can go to my Twitter at unaccounted4, my Google Plus at plusbidamathos, or at unaccounted4 on Mastodon, which is mass.linuxgamecast.com, which I haven't posted anything to yet because I don't get it. It's like Twitter for smart people. Hey, our Mastodon thing's fixed too, so I, I fixed that. Explains that explains why I don't get it. it. Um, <laughs> you know, listen, man, that's one thing we learned. Even if you bought Bite Size Snickers for a bit and it fucks up on you right at the end, it's still win-win. You have Bite Size Snickers. You still exactly. have a Snickers, yeah. <laughs> All right. Time for some credits. Thank you. But... <laughs> Fucking murder bush. Murder bush! <laughs> <laughs>
do the likes. See, Mike actually leaves comments on our YouTube mm-hmm. videos. Thank you. <laughs> smash that, smash that bell, fam, as Arthur and says. Yeah, smash the bell, fam. <laughs> Whittly, whittly. I gotta like, a- get the tablature for this so I can play it. <laughs> it's one thing that still baffles me is like the producers, you see like the thing come up on the credits and then it just keeps going and going and Listen, going. we it's have like- a lot of producers. <sighs> Including the real Pedro, you fake ass Pedro bitch. <laughs> yes, the real Pedro Mateos. <laughs> Man. Hey man, Frank ain't gonna Frank himself. We need to make Frank a verb. Go, go, go Frank, Frank yourself. yourself. Go Frank yourself. <laughs> that, oh, that, we should put that on a shirt. God damn. Go Frank yourself. Yes. Is go it? Frank yourself. Between that and Frankophile. Yeah. <laughs> Died See, I would people. totally wear a Go week. Frank yourself shirt yeah. with Frank on the front. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is why we need to make that merch goal, man. Patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. (laughs) Give us money! Oh, yeah. Five dudes.